So Let's Intern is a portal, it is a platform which connects students and corporates. The idea is very simple that uh, students when they take a college education or any kind of formal higher education, their job is not to get just the degree, they're wanting a career after that. And therefore it's, it's good if you start young and right, delve into the job. So Let's Intern is that initiative which connects students need to work with the corporate world while they're still in college. Uh, the idea is to also through this way uh, increase the employability issue, uh, increase the employability rates in India because if, if people are better trained while they're still in college, they're going to be highly employable post their college. Uh, from a corporate perspective, they spend lots of money in, in campus recruitment and etc. Uh, easy online platform solves that issue. B, there's a whole issue of uh, variable project manpower the requirements, cost effective manpower requirements and, and things that you just need hands and feet for. And, and students can and very happily do the, that work for them. So yeah, so that that's the that's the nemesis or that, that's the genesis of the idea. Right. Yeah. Story behind it. So we were all members, me, Mayank, and Pranay, the three co-founders. We were all part of this international organization called ISEC, which does international internships. Uh, it's a student organization, it's the world's largest student organization. So all of us were associated with the organization during our college days. So we were exchanging students across uh, countries, across 197 countries. Uh, so that was the exposure to the whole internship market and the international internship market and seeing what's happening and seeing so many students actually do something substantial. And it is one of those experiences because you got it so early on in life. It's so, I mean, all of us remember those times really fondly because when we were 18, uh, you know, most of our friends were, were having fun, chilling and partying and we were doing the same things but at the same time we were part of this international organization where our board of directors had people like Mr. Ratan Tata and Adi Godridge and we can actually had access to a lot of uh, corporate people within Delhi like I was from Delhi and uh, similarly there were 14 local chapters. So that was a very interesting experience for all of us and when we decided to start out I think that experience was so ingrained in us that we said hey, this was, was working so well at an international level while this is a huge country with so many students and so many corporates and nobody is doing any kind of stuff for them. And that time we didn't know about the competition which existed so we thought we were the first people to think of the idea and so we checked the domain name, it sounded, we wanted to make a revolution so let's in turn sounded like a movement like let's do something, it's an action verb. So it was available, it was for 350 bucks and we said let's not wait for it, it's about two beers worth, <laughs> let's buy the poor domain name and see where it goes. So that was how simply it started, you know, and yeah, there was nothing great about how the idea came about or why we started. There was no research done. It was more about we had been part of that industry for three, four years as a student, and then now it kind of just made sense. We'd been there, we knew the ground reality, and we were confident that we could do something about it. Not really. See, so our objective was let's hit the ground running and, and see what the first three months have in store for us. If there is traction and if there is revenue, then we're in the right business. And if there is not, we're not going to be married to the idea. We, we probably fold this and think of something else. So for us, the actual business was itself a, a pilot. I mean, we're going to just take, and we were open to the idea that if it does not do well, we will fold this up and do something else. So it was not. Uh, a question of putting all your eggs in one basket and saying, oh, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life or for the next five years. So we were open, pretty open at that stage. B, I think research is really important when you're diving into something new. So if, if I had to take up a business which I did not understand at all, I would need research. Now, in this case, both me, Mayanka, and, and, and subsequently Pranay, all of us had IC experience, which was, we were dealing with internships at a national level, an international level for three to four years, five years, like my uncle for five years, me for about two to three years. So combined we had seen the space in multiple cities for about 10 years period. So we had some knowledge, a, in fact a good deal of knowledge of what was happening. What are the colleges reaction? We had gone to colleges and made presentation about international internships. So we knew how colleges are uptaking that, how students are uptaking that. We knew what price points were selling for international internships and how much of sales we were able to generate through our network. So those those things were ingrained to us. Uh, I had, uh, my uncle had worked in the talent management space, talent acquisition space for two years with various companies. I had, uh, my last stint was with CNBC which was 
handling their online portfolio. So, uh, I mean that all of this combined. I mean, so I knew a little bit about online space and what things will work and what does not work and how to get a website up and running and stuff like that. So I think there was some background knowledge to what where we are going, what we're doing, which helped. So if I had to dive into something absolutely new, definitely. I mean, I would suggest research. But if you've been doing it for a few years, it's it's, it's kind of easy to take take that plunge. I mean, we're probably still too young to guide and mentor other people, but there are a few pointers, yeah. The few pointers that would definitely help anybody and everybody is uh, find out, have a clear USP for your product, differentiate, I mean, what are you differentiating yourself on? And, and what is that value that you want to create to the consumer? Or if it's a B2B company to, the, to your end, you know, uh, user, it has to be very, very clear. Uh, if, if you're not able to define that in a very simple line or if you're not able to, you're not clear about that, you're trying to define, okay, we'll do this also and this also and this also and this also and therefore it all makes sense, I think then you're in a little bit of a problem. But if you can say one thing that, okay, we're going to upskill them or we're going to anything, whatever your product or service is, you're able to define what value you're generating. Uh, and and somewhere you need to answer why you are better off generating their value than an average you out there. Uh, those two questions you have to answer really honestly to yourself and then really believe in. On an on execution point of view, it's the cost. I mean, as startups, it's, it's, it's like if you're fighting or if you're running a marathon, it's a, you control your breath, right? You do, that's your lifeline, your money that you have. And it's limited money and that's, uh, you can have more ideas, you can have more time, but you're not going to, the cash is going to burn out at some point. So how well are you able to manage your cost? How, how are you able to not spend on unnecessary things? Uh, I've seen a lot of startups spend very, a lot of money trying to just jazz up office spaces or, or things which are non-core to the business, you know. Uh, I mean, spending a lakh on a logo when you're starting out is stupid, you know. Uh, spending, again, stuff which you really do not, do not need, which are frills, should not be done until you validated your idea or got traction. Uh, so those are two basic things. If you can watch out for what value you're creating and you can watch out for... Uh, uh, the fact that you have cash to actually experiment because the only thing that's going to happen for any startup and that is something you, like universal is that you're going to make wrong decisions yeah. yeah and and if you don't have the money in your bank to make the next decision your wrong decision may be your last right and that's that's not what you want to be so yeah.